Thank you for joining us for this episode of Frog Talk, an Auction Frogs podcast series all about events and fundraising in a post-2020 world. For more information on Auction Frogs and the services we offer, visit auctionfrogs.org today. Hi, I'm Corey Michaels, and this is another edition of Frog Talk, your leap into fundraising. Today, I'm talking with Heidi with the Epilepsy Foundation of Idaho. Heidi, thanks for joining me and, and sharing your story. Now, what were you thinking back a year ago when all of the events were being canceled and you had your event coming up for the Epilepsy Foundation? What was going through your head and the, the rest of the staff when you realized you are going to have to make a change? Well, the, so our gala is our main fundraiser throughout the year. So the first thought was that we weren't going to be able to pull anything off at all. Um, and that was a panicky feeling. And then when we started here, you know, our event is, it always falls in November because November is Epilepsy Awareness Month. And so we were well into the pandemic. And then you start hearing that people were still doing fundraisers and they, they were shifting to virtual. And I thought, well, you know what? Um, let's give it a try. Let's, let's pivot the mindset and give it a try. And then what made you decide upon Auction Frogs? Well, I had worked with Auction Frogs on several events over the years. And um, honestly, I was more, each year, it just seemed like they, they really had it dialed in more and more with each year. They just were really getting better and better. And so I thought, you know, it, I visited with uh, a couple of people from Auction Frogs felt super comfortable. They had done events and it seemed as if they had it really dialed in and um, knew the process well and could pivot to that virtual event, which um, gave me a lot of comfort. And um, because otherwise I would have been a nervous wreck to try and pull that off. I'm not tech savvy. I'm not, um, I'm kind of scared of the whole virtual world, but um, auction frogs really, really set my mind at ease. They knew what they were doing. How did your first virtual event go for you? It went well. It's still, it's different. It's a different feeling. But in the end, all said and done, uh, the event went incredibly smooth. Auction Frogs took care of the presentation portion. We, we did some video segments, sent them off to Auction Frogs. They pieced it all together to make a, a really nice presentation. Um, we didn't make as much money without the live event, but you have to remember that we also didn't have the expenses of a venue or of, you know, a band and drinks and the, you know, the hoopla that's involved in a live event, which eventually we'll get back to live events and that'll be fun. But in the meantime, um, you know, the virtual event worked well for us. And what were some of the things that you learned in your in your first virtual event? I, I really, really had to let go and trust the production team at Auction Frogs because um, I was worried about, I, I, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a tech savvy person. So I, my worst nightmare was that people were not going to be able to log in or connect or they're, you know, it was not going to flow well. Um, but I just, I need I needed to just give up the the um, worry and just let auction frogs do their thing. Well, and that's tough, you know, when you're used to being uh, in charge of, you know, everything the the venue, mm -hmm. the food, the the drinks, the band, the auctioneer, the MC, you know, each piece and part, and the sponsors and all that. You know, you have you and your committee, and and you know mm -hmm. what to do. And so, when in something like this, yeah, you have to turn over. A lot of that, just trust that your your vision is going to be able to come to reality with the team. Exactly. And I will say that, you know, I'm always, even the night of the Kala in-person event, um, I don't relax at all from beginning to end. I am, <laughs> I'm worrying about this, that, and the other. I sat through the, the virtual gala and didn't have a worry about any of it. It was just, it was, it was done. It was done for me. And I got to let go of all that worry. Ah, that's wonderful. Now, 
finally, for someone that's thinking about doing a virtual event and you were chatting with this other nonprofit, what advice would you give them? I think it's important in these times that you fundraising, it it just looks different now. And you have to um, think outside of the box and be willing to try some new things. Uh, because what's worked in the past just it doesn't it doesn't work right now in these times. So I think you just have to be willing to reach out of your comfort zone. I guess is what it is. You just have to be willing to think outside of that box. Well, Heidi, thank you so much for taking some time with me. Absolutely, um, I appreciate working with you and Auction Frogs, and um, you guys were incredibly helpful. Well, thank you so much. And we look forward to the next great event. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Frog Talk, an Auction Frogs podcast series all about events and fundraising in a post-2020 world. For more information on Auction Frogs and the services we offer, visit auctionfrogs.org today. 